Welcome to another episode of the Love Not Fear podcast. And our topic today is pleasing versus serving. Wow, nice topic. Um, you know, if, you, if you use the, the verses, then we must get a clear definition on what is pleasing, what is serving. Serving is, uh, has a positive uh, ring to it, to a certain amount. And pleasing is, it has, a dev- it has a negative ring to it. Uh, pleasing is about validation in my eyes, getting mm-hmm. validation. And oh. big, big problem nowadays is uh, is the um, all the tools that give you instant uh, gratification on mm-hmm. validating if you're on the right track. I think social media um, has gone out, out of hand. Yeah. And so, what what what, are, what is your your take on that? I guess my take on this is like if I please somebody it's not necessarily serving them it's just like making them happy in the moment whereas if i if i uh, serve them then i'm doing the right thing also i guess long term right if i just yeah i think that that's probably the thing you always want to be ser- serving others or serving yourself yeah. if, I, if i please myself uh, as you said, like social media, it's like you know, it's 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 it feels good, just like you know, to scroll on any social media or like post something and get the likes. But does this really serve me? Does this really get me to where I want to go? Yeah. I think this is the- for me. For me, surfing has also got to do with the, there's there's um, something you get back from surfing. Pleasing is is like it's it's out of your hands and do what it do do whatever. But surfing is, um, is, is, it means also re- receiving. Yeah. For, for me, pleasing is, is, is an energy drain. Mm-hmm. This is not something you, that, that fills pleaser. up your, 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 your energy. So it will wear you out. While surfing, you can surf for, for uh, uh, a lifetime. Mm. I had the presence of interviewing a Holocaust survivor, and she put her li- dedicated her life towards spreading a message. She is serving her cause. Mm-hmm. And this has added many years. She's now turning 102, and she's not done yet. I mean, <laughs> serving can can be amazing, and serving also um, in the ideal world will means that that if it's a positive thing, other people will build on that, and it, it's a gift that keeps on giving. Very true. Like serving is acting out of love, and I'm just like pleasing somebody, so I'm not getting into trouble. Right. Yep. So I think. And how oh. about authentic self and, and um, looking for your highest potential? How does these topics, uh, we've spoken in, in different podcasts about this, how does this relate to serving versus pleasing? Yeah, I guess pleasing again is short term, serving is long term. Serving is I'm serving myself, I'm serving humanity, I'm serving my customers yeah. versus you know, I'm serving my customers and kind of really doing something that is really helping them to get to where they want to go. I'm just pleasing them, you know, I give them a discount because we messed up versus kind of like yeah. fixing the underlying root cause so we can actually serve better. So there's an element of feedback in serving as well. Mm-hmm. Well, hmm. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's not go. Otherwise, it gets too technical. Uh, let's, let's talk about appreciation. Appreciation is, uh, is 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 a word that, that tells you something about what mostly what what others think of what you do or did for them or given mm-hmm. them or added to their lives, but it's also about yourself. We we every time we we, we have the discussion, we get back to the core values, but <laughs> somehow this 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 uh, applies here as well. Appreciation is living a life that is in uh, harmony with where you eventually want to go and if it's if your actions and the directions you're going are aligned with that then you feel appreciation for yourself but also what 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 nature gives you what other people give you appreciation for for great food maybe it's, it can also be in the small things hmm so you're saying like if uh, i really appreciate good food i'm mindfully eating this and thinking like oh my god this is like five star michelin star quality versus if i'm just pleasing myself i'm stuffing my face with some yeah some french fries like okay so you, the, the what you just did is you, you 
yeah, okay. mindful and, and put quality in there as well. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I like that. I like that. Yeah. And the fact, of course, serving has a lot <laughs> serving food. It was too, too, uh, too, uh, too easy. But let's talk about rejection and conflict. Because pleasing is, comes from a fear of rejection. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm. And pleasing is, all, is, 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 is in conflict with your self-belief system? Or? I mean, also kind of going back to business, I could please a customer by doing what he wants. Mm -hmm. You know, I say, I'm, I'm a doctor, somebody comes to me, I want X, Y, Z, but I serve them by saying like, no, this is not the right thing. Let's yeah. do X, Y, Z. Yeah. You know, for example, somebody in, in your lighting business comes like, I want these these lights and, you know, because they're cheaper, but you can say like, yeah. no, let's buy these other ones because you're going to have them for X longer years. Yeah. And, you know, then even though you're not pleasing him, yeah. but you're serving him by doing the right thing. I absolutely agree. If I try to sell, then I'm in a, in a bad place. Then it, it, it's it's always a bad timing, and there's always reason not to do it. But if I fall in love with the problem and I paint this problem really lively, then I'm in a, in a, I'm, I'm three points ahead of the competition. I can tell you an example from from thing. Uh, it's literally on my desk right now. I have a I have a client who is building a house in uh, in uh, Tobago. So uh, I've done uh, multiple projects in in the Caribbean. I know what the what the problems are there. Mm. So before started, I said, "Hey, you you you're missing a key part of of the briefing." But I assume that your voltage is this that you have a um, a salination problem that the air is very uh, very salty mm. that not everything is available there that you have yeah by by painting this picture I will I will know from other responses in in the past that he's going to react in in a way like wow. I don't he know what stuff, the guy yeah. will tell now, but I already started believing because he, he's in my head instead of him mm -hmm, trying mm -hmm. to offer me something that might suit me or not. Yeah, good point. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Well, going back to re rejection and 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 conflict, because that that is that 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 does something in in the body. And we, we we're talking about a journey to to uh, to collect the tools and and the ideas and embody them um, to better prepare yourself for the, for the road ahead. So what are your, your, your key takeaways on conflict and rejection? I mean, for example, rejection, like I used to hate sales with a passion, uh, you know, and uh, it was, you know, before I was like, okay, we have this and this, if you want it and take it, if not like totally cool. But if I'm, uh, you know, again, as, as you said before, if you know what you have can really serve that person then you can even be pushy saying like no dude like freaking buy this it's gonna you know benefit you so much like don't go down down that other route yeah. then you're also not that i guess scared by the possible rejection that you could face right you know or like with managing happiness if i push people to join the cohort uh i know that you know kind of seeing what they're doing i know this can really benefit their life and then even if they, you know, could, uh, yeah, re reject me, it, it doesn't hurt me because I know that I'm, I'm here to serve. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, that doesn't, it's like uh, forcing somebody to take a subscription to the, to the gym. Mm. <laughs> they, they're not, they're not benefited by, by that. They can do without that. Okay. Yeah. I guess uh, we already hit the, uh, the end uh, of, of this one. Um, yeah, we added this new thing where we try to uh, to 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 uh, finish with a, a a thought for the day. We don't try; we do. We do. Trying, trying is fear. Trying fear. <laughs> Thank you. <Awesome. laughs> okay, so what 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 would be it for today? Mm, I guess kind of sticking with the serving. Like, how can you serve, or who can you serve, or how can you serve the people in your life better? Yeah. Or like kind of looking at the three areas of your life. How can you serve in your business or in your occupation better? How can you serve yourself better? And how can you serve your family better? Yeah. But the, the, you, you, you're leaving with three uh, hows. I'd, I'd like to uh, give some empowerment there. Because everybody, we all have the power to choose what, we, what, we, mm -hmm. what, we, uh, what is good for us. And we have to choose how our actions shape our life. So it's not in the hands of others. The next steps are within you. You. All right. That wraps it up nice for today. Are you happy? Yes, always happy. Okay. Thank you.
See you again. See you next one. Bye.